Comey and I'm a junior at East Carolina University in the interior design program and we were taking the class product design for special populations with Ms. Savut and over the course we were asked to design a project to help the needs of the Little Lily Center in Greenville and go through the entire process from day one to the very end of finishing and building the product. Hi, I'm Brittany Skunda, a junior level student at East Carolina University in the interior design program. Some of the things that we've been had the opportunity to learn in this class is getting to know and become more familiar with tools that usually girls our age aren't really familiar with. And we got to experience a little field trip to Lowe's hardware store and we're taken through each aisle individually and just explained what everything in Lowe's pretty much is, which was extremely helpful and beneficial to all of us. And also working in the shop, we have really learned to become more familiar with drills, saws, and all kinds of tools that I never found myself <laughs> ever using. As we were designing products for the Little Lily Center, um, a community center that is used by children in Greenville, we had all designed different products. I had designed a chalkboard that was like a storybook that was rotatable. Anna had designed modular benches that had flower potting units in them also. Sydney had designed a grape-like trellis that had seating units to have shade in the area. And we all tried to incorporate our designs as for the children, helping the children for the community. We just really wanted to give back to them because that's what it's all about. And for the other three of us in the class, um, I myself created an outdoor musical playground, which interprets five tuned drums, all at different sizes, and um, a xylophone. And Mac had geometrical modular shapes tied in where she is using games, and it's an easy way for children to learn their shapes and different ways to use these shapes and Jessica had the modular tables bookshelf that you can pull out the drawers and the plexiglass on top so you can see all the books. We've learned that everything takes time and it's not just, you know, I want to make this as a design, build it. It's a whole process that takes time. You need to know your materials, you need to know how your materials work, you need to know what is the best way to put materials together. Since we've actually had to use, make these things life-size models, we had to learn the specific specifications that these children are actually going to need, like the different heights, the weights that will be used on these type of products, and we've just really had to learn the backgrounds of just basic stuff that we were never taught or needed, needed to learn in the first place. This is a new experience for interior designers. We have had to, we've learned that there are multiple types of wood. There's not just one type of wood, which in my mind I would have thought that's what it would have been, but wood actually, there's a lot more things that go into wood as if water's put in it, it can break a lot easier, it can bow out, and you just have to learn the like I said, the weight specifications and heights. Definitely opened our eyes. We didn't realize how much actually goes into designing anything, even from a chair to our products we're doing. It really opens your eyes and it makes you think about how you're actually going to use a product instead of, oh, just, I want this made. You can know that Dr. Savut has sent out an email to many different teachers and people around the community to come out and see each of our products to show off how much hard work that we've done and hopefully to just encourage them to see what we saw and why we designed this product. Isn't that soft?